All right. Hey, YouTube. Welcome to the Gunshine State. It's a beautiful day here in the Gunshine State of Florida. Um, this is a video I've been wanting to do for a long time. Just never took the time to do it, but I'm taking the time today. This is the Taurus PT-111 Millennium Pro G2. That's a long name for a gun, but that's what it is. Most people will just call it the G2. Um, it's gotten a lot of hatred, I guess you could call it, from uh, those that do not like Taurus. Now, I can understand that because Taurus used to be um, a subpar company. But uh, now, they're a great company. And I'm sure that there are a lot of uh, videos and a lot of information out there on the history of the, uh, the company. And you can go look that up if you want. But, you know, I don't want to get into that in this video. I just want to talk about this gun and how awesome it is, how awesome I think it is. Um, if you compare it with... My kel P11, you can see that they're kind of the same size. I mean, the P11 is a little bit smaller, barrel's a little bit shorter, but all in all, you know, they're about the same thickness. Um, the uh, kel is 10 round magazines. The Taurus G2 is... 12 round magazines and it does come with two magazines two 12 round magazines um, as far as features it has this really nice textured grip I don't know exactly what they did to it but it's really nice kind of is reminiscent of the uh, the new Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 that has a, a similar grip and I like it I love it actually my wife put um, talon grips on hers because she doesn't like how rough it is but I think it's I think it's great feels good um, it looks good what else got a thumb safety manual thumb safety um, as you can see, it is empty. I don't know if you can see in there, but it is empty. Empty magazines. Um, let's see. What else? Looks like a Glock, right? At least somewhat. Um, breaks down like a Glock. Take the magazine out. And I know you have to pull the trigger on these, just like the Glock. You have to pull the trigger. In order to take the slide off which you know for most people if you're not accustomed to to dealing with guns or if you're new to it um, that can be a little intimidating but I've been doing this and collecting and shooting for over 30 years so it does not bother me you just pull the trigger just like a Glock pull the slide back a little bit Pull the tabs down, and off you go. Um, let's see. I did replace my guide rod. Um, I forget the name of the company, but this is a stainless steel guide rod. It comes with a plastic guide rod. So it is, it is a captured spring system. Um, it works. Works great. It looks good. It's all stainless steel. Here's the barrel. Stainless steel barrel. And that's all you have to do to clean it, just like a Glock. I mean, it's just, it's so simple and it's so reliable. I have not had one malfunction with this gun, and neither has my wife. We have over 300 rounds. Uh, through these guns 
each and not one malfunction. It goes back together, same as a Glock. All right, let's see, it's got a rail, uh, somewhat, it's functional, it'll do. I like the uh, slide serrations, they're very nice. This has three dot sights, don't know if you can see the three dot sights. I'm sure you can, a little bit, but, you know, I just wanted to talk about this gun. It gets a lot of, a lot of grief and a lot of hate, even though it's an awesome gun. I, I just love this gun. Um, it's probably about the same size as the Glock 26, and I have a Glock 27 holster here. I had this one made for a Glock 27 that I don't have anymore. But of course we all know the Glock 27 is the same size as the 26. And it fits right in there. It's a little tight, but this holster's brand new. I've never even used it. But it's it's tight, so I think it looks good. Fits in there real nice. I think with a little use it would loosen up. Um, I will say this. I don't know if you've had a chance to look at this gun. This is the PT-709 Slim. Um, this gun is also a Taurus. It breaks down the same way. Um, it has a thumb safety also. This has a uh, seven round magazine because it's a single stack. It is empty. Um, you just break down the same way. You just had to pull the trigger, then do the same thing as the uh, as the sev as the uh, G2. I carry this gun every day. This gun is always on me when I leave the house. I never go anywhere without it. But it's roughly the same exact length and everything, but it's a little bit more narrow. The slides and the whole, the whole profile is a little bit more narrow. You probably can't tell too much by this. You can definitely feel it though. It's definitely noticeable in the hand. But uh, this gun here is just, I love this gun. I highly recommend both of these guns, especially if you need a, a small carry pistol. This 709 Slim is just perfect. I, uh, I carry it in a DeSantis Nemesis holster, um, in a pocket holster. And I don't even know it's there. It also fits in this holster. It's a little bit, a little bit more loose, but that's okay because I think it comes out pretty easy, and I think it would carry real nice in here. Anyway, that's the uh, PT 709 Slim by Taurus. Um, that's about it. I just wanted to talk about this PT-111 Millennium Pro G2, Generation 2. It gets a lot of, gets a lot of crap for no reason, because it's, mine's been 100% reliable. My wife's has been 100% reliable. No issues whatsoever. So, um... You know, leave comments if you want, good or bad, doesn't matter. I'll listen to anything. But uh, that's about it. I just wanted to talk about it and let you guys know that if you want a, a quality gun that is inexpensive, then this is, this is one of the ones that I highly recommend. 
Um, my wife and I bought ours from Classic Firearms. They were, I believe, two twenty each. Um, Sportsman's Guide usually has them for under two hundred, but they don't have them at the moment, as of the recording of this video. But they do have the uh, the G two with the the stainless slide. This is black, black stainless, I believe. But they have the white stainless one for I think it's two around 230 um, this one on sportsman's guide is usually about 197 198 something like that but um yeah I say go ahead and and pick one of these up it's a great gun I love it my wife loves hers she carries hers every day she carries in her purse I wish she wouldn't, but she does. Um, she's trying to find a good holster so she can carry her 709 Slim. But, you know, she's she's a working girl, office worker, um, that sort of type thing. And she can't really, you know, pocket carry, unfortunately. But anyway, that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you give Taurus another chance. I really, really highly recommend this gun. I just can't say that enough. And I think that if people would give it, you know, another chance and just get one and, and shoot it, I think that they will be pleasantly surprised. And I don't think that they will be Taurus haters anymore so that's my spiel um, get yourself some uh, some Taurus handguns there you go PT 111 Millennium Pro G2 and PT 709 Slim fantastic guns um, so get out there and get shooting, and remember to resist tyranny. Buy as many guns and as much ammo as you can afford. All right, from the Gunshine State of Florida, have a great day.